Hey everybody, I hope you're all doing well. I am super excited for this week's hunt because for the first time I'm taking out my brand new Simplex Ultra. I'm Adam, this is my new metal detector, and that's a beach. Welcome to Detect Sussex. Okay, so first time out with the new Simplex Ultra. Do not take anything I say in this video as the best settings, okay? This is literally the first time I've turned it on out in the field. So we're gonna give this a bit of a try today. Um, now, the situation today is it's gonna be low tide in about three hours time, three, three and a half hours time. Um, it is a high low tide, so I don't know how much wet sand I'm gonna get in, um, but I will try and get a little bit. Uh, I've got my Bluetooth headphones on, same Bluetooth headphones as the Legend. Um, got them all connected up, so that's all good. Now, I'm on the beach. I'm going to try beach mode. Um, now, I am might say um, original Simplex a few times in the video. I mean the Simplex Plus, okay? That is the original Simplex. On the original Simplex, I didn't like beach mode. Hated it. Um, you get a very, just get one tone, and you automatically discriminate out the iron, all that kind of stuff. But this is a brand new machine. I'm treating it as such, so I'm just going to go with... Um, Sort of the obvious settings to start with so i'm going to go beach mode to start with just see how we go i'll probably be flicking through all these settings i'm not going to do a hollow pad with all the settings on this this week uh, purely because i'm going to be flicking about all the settings all over the shop so i'm going to start in 30 i'm going to do a ground balance uh let's see what other settings we've got discrimination settings let's have a quick look at those um i'll leave everything not so i don't think you can change that on the beach mode so i'm not, not going to do it with that um i'm going to be in coin mode as opposed to relics mode on the discrimination and we're going to just stick with medium um, medium depth on the screen so there we are uh, ground cancellation I'll leave that off for now I'll put it on if I need it frequency 2 recovery speed 3 just keep it all in the middle not touching the tones and the basic settings are there so okay I'm going to do a ground balance off camera see if we can get that chatter gone and we'll see how we go on Let's get cracking. Okay, first find with the Simplex Ultra. Now, I don't have a function on this Simplex Ultra like I do on the Legend where I can just turn the speaker on and keep the headphones on. So I've disconnected my headphones. Hopefully you'll better hear the sounds. And we've got early 70s, late 60s on the numbers. Okay, let's give that a little go. It's a little wobbly. Could be aluminium. <laughs> Knowing the speech. Give it a little go. Okay, we're out. In the middle somewhere. I'm getting 87 on the numbers now, so I don't think we're looking at a coin. Back to 70. Let's have a little look. Headphones back on. Right. No. Oh, it is a coin. Oh, how about that? It is a coin. Aha, 2P. Okay, modern 2P. So, wobbly numbers. Wobbly numbers up in that range. And the reason for that will be because it's got an iron core. Okay, so that's good to know. Iron core coins will be a bit wobbly. Excellent, okay. 
first find with the Simplex Ultra and we have ourselves a coin already. Let's just zoom in. 2p. Great stuff. Okay, I'm still in beach mode. You heard the tone. Um, like I said, I wasn't a fan of beach mode on the uh, Simplex Plus, but I'm going to give this a try. Give it a fair test. Onward. Okay, so quick first impressions, just uh, swinging the machine for the first time. Um, you can definitely tell the, uh, the change in weight. Um, remember, the new uh, Simplex is only 1.2 kilos in weight. It is really light and it does make a difference to your arm when you're swinging. Um, it is a super light detector. Lighter than the original Simplex, definitely lighter than the, than the Legend. Yeah, enjoying this. It's got a nice balance to it as well. You know, I'm not really gripping the, the handle. You know, it's just like, it just feels balanced, you know? This is so, we've got sound coming up here. Okay. A little wobbly around 60, but not as wobbly as that uh, 2P. So, now I'm gonna try putting my headphones around the microphone so you can hear the sounds a little bit better. Um, I don't want to disturb other people on the beach today. It's quite busy, quite good weather. It does mean I can't hear what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, just about there, I think. Let's give that a go. I'm definitely suggesting that they add a, uh, <laughs> a feature to put the speaker on like they do on the Legend. Uh, next opportunity. If they do any uh, future updates. Be, uh, very useful for me making videos. Otherwise, we'll just make do best we can. I might try uh, just turn the headphones off again next time. It's, uh, it's quite hard for me to hear when I put the headphones around the, the microphone. Okay, it was moved. Oh, hello. I can see something down there. Just uh, pop that down. Are you kidding me? Oh, are you kidding me? First target, a coin. Second target, jewellery. Wow, what a great start. Okay, um, I'm guessing a bracelet of some description. Let's just come off, that's a, bit, that's a bit broken. Let me zoom in so you can see a bit better. I don't think it's uh, silver or anything valuable, just on first look. Wow. How's about that? Yeah, that's just uh, just costume jewellery, just cheap jewellery, but a bit rusty on the chain there. But still, that's jewellery. It's coin and some jewellery so far. Whoa. Okay. It's early days. It is early days, but I'm enjoying this. <laughs> oh, what a start. What a start. Okay, so, um, yeah. Um, bracelet. <laughs> Woo, okay. Well, on board. Okay, next target. Hopefully you can hear it. Turn the headphones off. 45, sorry 45, not very deep. One bar down only. So let's see if we can get to that. Um, I should say I'm on 25 sensitivity. I found uh, with the Legend, which also has 30 stages of sensitivity, um, that turning it to 25 just as a default, just for a, a general runnings, is totally fine. Um, if there's anything you're likely to get at 30, it'll be a, a whisper. Um, and you can just knock it up for that to get a clearer signal. Okay, so I've got 44, 45 coming up out in the spoils there. And there's still something in there at, in the 70s, so... I'll remember that's there for a second. I'll see if we can just get to the 70s. One, I'll do some different spoils part. Let's 
coming up about two or three bars down. Might just be uh, junk. Shooting up into the 90s now. Oh no. Okay, something in the 90s over there. Mm, okay, I think that's going to be junk. We'll, uh, let's have a quick look. We've got uh, 90s coming out there, more 90s in the hole, and we've got that uh, 45 signal over there. So I'm just going to see what this is over here. Just to see, I'm pretty sure it's going to be uh, just junk. I'm still getting back used to this scale because obviously uh, Simplex Plus and the new Simplex Ultra is a 0 to 90 or 1 to 99 scale. Um, whereas the legend is 0 to 60. And there's nothing there, is there? I'm pretty sure that's just some junk over here. Yeah, okay. It's probably just uh, iron rubbish. Right, let's have a look over here. A little scrap or something. Uh, what's over here? Now this is a 45 signal. Fairly stable. that oh another coin you're kidding me another coin this time we've got is it 20p yeah 20p okay that's three three targets i've not skipped anything you've seen everything i found so far okay sometimes i'll uh, i'll miss out a target if it's uh, won't show it on the video but i'll show it in the roundup just if it's not you know not terribly interesting or if i found lots of it already but nope I've found three targets so far with the Simplex Ultra. Two coins, one bit of jewellery. Wow. Just wow. Okay, 2010. Modern day spendable 20p. Crazy. All right, on board. You guys are going to think I'm making this up. Seriously, I'm not. This is the next target. I'm about three feet away from where I just found that 20p. And 50p come out. This was coming up as 40. It's amazing. Now, I was getting a little bit more chatter than I wanted on the machine. Um, not much, just a little bit more than I would uh, expect from the Simplex Plus. Um, bear in mind, I'm using beach mode. I haven't tried my usual settings, which would be park two and a, um, a manual ground balance. On, uh, sorry, also ground balance for the dry stuff. Um, but I'm still in beach, so I'm still getting used to it. Still a few other settings and things I can try. Um, I've just switched frequency from F2 to F3. It's just, uh, just It just modifies the frequency slightly. It doesn't change it from 15 kilohertz particularly. It just, um, sort of, imagine it's sort of changing the decimal point on the end, if you like, just slightly. Uh, just so it uh, doesn't get too much interference. And it has calmed the machine down a bit. Okay, so that's something we can try. If you're on the beach, you're getting a little bit of noise. Um, to shift the uh, frequency. But yeah, we are. 50p. Coming up 40 on the VDIs. Lovely stuff. Fantastic. Cool. I'm going to keep playing with settings. I'll keep you updated with what I do. Let's see what else we can find. On ward. Okay, signal here coming up in the late 70s, early 80s. Very wobbly. What's that? There we are. Okay, so it is a coin, but it is a rusty, crusty coin. So this is one where the steel core has has corroded and burst out of the casing. So we won't class that as a nice find, but it is still a coin. It is still a coin. So there we are. I've only been at this for about, uh, what, half an hour? Maybe not even that. 25 minutes. And uh, I get the sense that this uh, machine might be a bit of a coin magnet. <laughs> cool. Right, on ward. Okay, got a signal here. In the spoils here, coming up. You can see on the screen, hopefully. Late 60s, 67, 68, 69. Cool, so it's in the spoils there. Let's uh, have a look and see what this one is. This was probably a good, I don't know, four or five inches down in the hole. Oh, you're kidding, 
Is that another coin? Yep, another coin. It's crusty though. Another crusty one. Now, is that crusty because it's corroded or is it crusty because it's got crust on it? <laughs> no, that's corroded, isn't it? See it there. Yeah, but another coin. So far, all I've found is coins and jewellery. And the, uh, the morning is young. Right, the sun's definitely coming out now. I need to get some uh, sun cream on. This is very hot. A bit of a heat wave here in the UK at the moment. So um, just stop for a second to do that, and then we'll carry on. On ward. Okay, just so again, I'm just playing with settings all day. I'm not going to be able to tell you everything. Otherwise, the video is going to be about three hours long. But I'm just playing about. Um, so a tiny little bit of chatter here and there. Nothing big, nothing distracting. But I'm just trying to learn the settings and learn how things uh, affect stuff. Um, I've just upped the, um, is it the ground, what do they call it, ground compensation? I'll put it on the screen, that's not the right word, but yeah. Um, yeah I'm still trying to learn the settings, but if I go to, hang on, there we go, back in beach mode. Yeah, so on this setting here, you can see it, you can zoom in. So, one, two, third setting from the left. Um, not even really focus, is it? I've set it to five, and it's now completely silent. Completely silent. There's no chatter anywhere. So I'm going to play with that. And I'm on 30, 30 sensitivity. No chatter at all. So let me go back and change it to three, maybe. I realise I've still got my headphones on, but... Uh, yeah, tiny, tiny bit there. So if I take that up to five, and we'll see how we go from there. So yeah, just a ground suppression, is it? Ground suppression? Ground suppression. I'm going to go for ground suppression. Um, I haven't memorized every word in the manual yet. <laughs> Let's carry on. Onward. Well, had to happen at some point. A little bit at Onward. Okay, another target. It was bouncy. Um, I'll was convinced this was going to be a bit of aluminium, it's somewhere around the 50s and 60s, but it looks like it's another coin. I'm thinking probably just a grossy rusty one. Yeah. Yeah, so bouncy because it was rusty. Um, but yeah, another coin. <laughs> another coin nonetheless. There we go. On board. Okay, coming up uh, mid to late 80s. Another coin. Like a 2p, a little bit jumpy, so I'm guessing a modern one. Yep, modern one that is starting to rust as well. There we go, not terrible, but we won't count that as a good one just because it's slightly too far gone. I don't think you'd even get a machine recognizing that. So there we are on ward. Okay, got a couple of targets here, one might be a halo. Um, Best one is here, it's early 40s, early to mid 40s there, and on the left here, there's one around about 1920-ish, but that's very jumpy. I reckon it's either a halo or that's just a bit of junk off to the left. This is the target I'm interested in, so let's give that a little bit of a dig. Let's see what that's going to be. Just realise you can't hear the tone, can you? There we go. So a nice solid, solid sound. And the machine is now quiet, so um, I think if you're going to use, certainly based on my experience today, which you know, I may change my mind in a few weeks once I've done it a bit more, but um, I think that ground suppression feature on the Simplex Ultra is very useful for the beach, certainly based on my experience today. Um, just to get rid of the extra little bits of chatter. Now the original Simplex, Simplex Plus, um, fantastic beach machine. Some people will tell you otherwise, but uh, if you get the uh, the settings right, um, that is a fantastic beach machine. It is nice and stable. And again, different settings than the Ultra, but it feels like 
we can do the same thing with the Ultra as well. Just uh, tune it in to the extra mineralization using ground balance, frequency shift, and the ground suppressor. And uh, yeah, we're on to a winner. Okay, this is deep. I'm going to uh, keep persevering and I'll get back to you. Okay, I've got down to it. You can see the depth. It's just there. So, it's that. About from there to there. So, what, six inches there about? Six, seven inches. And we've got a 20 pence piece. Obviously, I will check that other signal if it's still there once I've taken this out. But uh, I suspect it'll be uh, either tat or halo from this. Uh, coins with the, uh, the ridge or the... Uh, Segmented sides often uh, give off a bit of a halo. 1982, pretty good year, 20p. Oh, hang on, zoom in. There we go, otherwise the HUD won't recognise it. Try again. Perfect. Onward. Okay, this is coming in mid 30s. Just had a little foot scrape and it's shining on the surface there. Just there, that is. Five pence piece. Lovely stuff, nice and shiny. There is another target down here somewhere, so I'll have a look at that. If it's anything nice, I will show you that as well. But there we are, five p. Beautiful. Onward. Well, I did say if it's anything nice, I'd let you know. It's just there, and it is another five p. Lovely stuff. On ward. Okay, always check your holes. And same place I just got this two five piece from. We have a two pence piece. Stunning. Onward. Okay, next one. Just on the surface now for another foot scrape. Um, this is a, I've moved on a bit now from where I found those five P's. Uh, 31, 32, and it is sitting there nice and shiny on the surface. Let's get up with the scoop. Save me bending down anymore. And we have 10 P. Honestly, every little bit of tat that I found today, you have seen on this video, okay? I've shown you every little bit of tat so far today. So a few rusty coins and that little black piece. Apart from that, it's all been coins and jewellery, which is uh, rather nice for the maiden voyage of the Simplex Ultra for me. There we are, 10p. Lovely. All right, I've probably got another half hour, 45 minutes or so. So let's see how we get on. The tide isn't going out very fast. So I'm not sure how much wet sand I'm going to get in, if any. Um, but we'll do our best. Onward. Okay, another five pence piece. Onward. And another five pence piece. Onward. Okay, two in the same hole. A penny and a 50 pence piece. So many coins today. Calm down, Simplex Ultra. It's obviously trying to impress me on its first hunt. It's working. <laughs> Onward. Okay, 20p. Onward. Okay, so ignore the chimes in the background. I'm right up near the uh, the pier and the, uh, the clock's going off. Uh, right, so I've got a signal here. Let me turn the headphones off so you can hear what's going on. There we go. No, no. There we go. I kept switching that on and off. Um, right, so, where is it? Lost it. There we are. Some people say I lost it years ago. Um, right, so, I don't know if you can see the screen very well, but it's 67 solid. A couple of bars down. On there. Put the headphones back on. So there's lots of people about. Don't want to upset them too much. So 
that there. We've got moved it. Oh, I can see it. I can see it. What we got? Okay, looks interesting. You see it? Just see. What's that? Oh, okay. So JD, I'm pretty sure, is JD Sports, which is a sports shop. So it's obviously a, a tag or a, I don't know, something. Off of <laughs> something to do with the shop. A tag off of one of their products, maybe. Interesting, though. It's quite, it's quite nice. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Must be something quite special. Well, uh, enameled. I thought it might have been a pin badge at first, but yeah, sort of an enameled label, I say, I suppose. Huh? Bizarre. Huh? On board. Okay, got a uh, signal here. I can see something glistening in the stones. I've heard a quick scoop. Got it out. It's there. Uh, it is 72. So I need to remember that because on the Simplex Plus, this was 69. This is coming up 62. I don't want to get my pinpointer out. I can see where it is. It's just there. And we have our first with the Ultra coin of the pound variety. So I have to remember that, 72, so slightly higher on the Ultra than on the, uh, the Simplex Plus. But here we are, our first coin of the pound variety with this machine. Awesome. Loving this today. Loving, loving, loving this today. And look at the weather. Gorgeous weather. Lovely to be out. Great fresh air. Sound of the waves. And so many coins today. Right, let's carry on a little bit further and I'll give you my final thoughts of the day on the, uh, on the machine. And, uh, and the roundup. Onward. Okay, it's happened again. Two in the same hole. Penny and a 50 pence piece. Lovely. On ward. Okay, so I'm down on the wet sand. There's only a tiny, tiny bit of wet sand. I'm not going to get much hunting down the wet sand. But, but, quiet. We've got the headphones off. Okay, I can prove it. That is the uh, scoop. Yeah? Barely a sound. Yeah. What I've done is I've ground balance down to uh, zero, as I would on the, uh, the previous simplex. And that is quiet. I'm still on um, ground suppression five. Although I guess if you get too much chatter down here, you could up that a bit further and uh, stabilize it that way. Yeah, absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Just like the Simplex Plus, for anyone who keeps going on at me about how Simplex Plus isn't a beach machine. Flipping well is. <laughs> if you set it up right, it's a beach machine, yeah? There we are. Awesome. Right, nearly finished. I'll uh, probably see you for my final thoughts of the day on the new machine. On board. Okay, I'm sitting on the wet sand. Got a nice uh, signal here. I've had a quick of a scoop. I only took one scoop and it's out. Uh, 36, 37. It's just over here somewhere, so let's see if we can get it in the scoop. Yes, we can. Alrighty. 10p. 10p on the wet sand. Lovely. Stunning stuff. Nice and shiny for 1992. 10p. Superb. Right, onward. Okay, so that's the end of my hunt today with the Simplex Ultra, my first hunt with the Ultra. So first impressions of the machine, brilliant. Really, really brilliant. Bit of a coin magnet, certainly based on my experience today. Um, playing about with the settings, just trying to get it uh, stable in certain areas. It's a single frequency machine, so the beach is a tough location for it, but this machine handled it really, 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 really well. Um, using the ground suppressor, once you've uh, done the ground balance, done the frequency shift, you still need to get rid of any chatter, use the ground suppression, it works an absolute treat. Um, lightweight, I could swing this thing all day, 
seriously, really, really lightweight. The, ro the uh, carbon fiber top and bottom shafts, really, really robust. There's no um, wobble, there's no uh, sort of bending in it at all as you're swinging, really nice and controlled. The only things I would say is uh, beach mode is great, but I prefer to have at least uh, three or four tones so I can differentiate high and low conductors by ear rather than doing it by the VDIs. Uh, beach mode is only one tone, same as the original Simplex. So um, yeah, I may try different modes next time, but uh, actually beach mode otherwise performed extremely well today. Um, the only other thing I'm gonna say is I'm gonna feed back to Nocta that it might be good to have a mute button, just like the old Simplex and with the, uh, the Legend. And also, um, it'd be good if we can have the function that the Legends has got where you can turn the speaker on while the headphones still function. That way it'll be easier for me to make the videos so you can hear the tones as well. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's my thoughts on the Ultra this week. I am really, really pleased with it. I can't wait to use it again. I'm going to be out with it again next week. Try and get it on the, uh, the events field perhaps and see how we get on on there. Uh, so, finds wise, this is the tap box. There's one actual bit of tat in there, which is that... Uh, dark piece in the middle there all the rest are coins they're rusty coins but they're still coins so everything else i found today were coins on the slightly more interesting finds we've got that uh, enamel <laughs> tag from something at jd sports um, we've also got this lovely cheap but lovely shiny bit of jewelry little uh, bracelet and then we've got all of these coins one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen actual spendable coins in addition to all the ones i found that were a little bit rusty so 15 coins so we've got one pound uh, we've got a couple of 50p so two pounds uh two four six seventy eighty five uh, ninety three so two pounds ninety three pence so okay not a huge value but a lot of coins and it was just coin after coin after coin after coin after coin all morning long Really, really loved my time out on the beach today. If you enjoyed the video, if you want to see more of the Simplex Ultra, um, I'll definitely be taking it on land very, very shortly and be back at the beach as well in the coming weeks. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Um, that way you'll get weekly videos from me every single week on metal detecting, usually a hunt, and then occasionally I'll do a little bit of testing of things here and there as well. Hope you're all doing well. Have a fantastic week, everybody, and I will see you soon. Take care.